Welcome to another episode of Raven Conversations. I'm Joe C. Mandel, State Public Affairs Officer for the Washington National Guard. And today I'm joined by Major Ryan Dykes, who, on top of being a pretty good woodworker, <laughs> has a very interesting uh, degree. Um, I, I like to call you a rocket scientist, <laughs> but it's a Master's of Science in Space Studies. Uh, and he'll tell you about the kind of what he does with it. So thanks for joining us, Ryan. Yeah, thanks for having me, Joe. I really appreciate it. Um, so my name is Major Ryan Dykes. I'm uh, currently the battalion S3 and AO for the 420th Chemical Battalion out in Yakima, Washington. Um, and I do have my Master's of Science in Space Studies from the University of uh, North Dakota. Um, essentially, I've been interested in space my entire life, and uh, the opportunity arose to um, pursue a master's of science in space studies. So it's a degree where I, uh, it's kind of a multi-level degree. Um, it's not specifically being a rocket scientist, <laughs> but it has aspects of being a rocket scientist. Um, the degree is designed around being able to manage space systems or space programs, like one of the classes we had to take was space mission design. So you essentially design a space mission from systems, launch systems, personnel, tracking all the way up from ground to launch. Yes. So. What uh, what other classes were involved? I mean, minus like space studies <laughs> and planning, like I imagine there was a whole lot of, you know, math probably involved yes. in it. Yep. Um, but what else? So definitely had to take uh, orbital mechanics, <laughs> so which is ridiculous amounts of math, and I'm not good at math, so it was a lot of hard work studying and trying to figure out, um, I mean, anywhere from trigonometry to advanced algebra to calculate orbits around different celestial bodies. Either you start out with basic, like moon orbiting the mm -hmm. Earth, and then you progress to like spaceships and satellites and their different elevations in a different type of orbit. I mean, either from geocentric orbit or stationary orbit, there's lots of options and the math is so crazy. It's, <laughs> it's interesting. And then some of the other classes, um, space law, which is weird. There's actually lawyers that wow. deal with space law. Um, we had to take space law class and then space history. Can they find a jury of their peers in space? <laughs> Not in space, okay. but uh, here on Earth. <laughs> so so I, I have a master's degree as well. Um, I think we were getting our master's degrees probably about the same time. Yeah, I think we were. Um, I, I find mine. I use it quite a bit in the guard. How, how does yours kind of translate to the, your guard So life? obviously we don't have a space guard, um, and I don't manage space programs here being the AO at the 420th. But I think the best way it has helped me in the guard is... Um, being able to prepare for like uh, ILE or um, AOC, which I'm doing right now, that advanced degree, being able to do research, being able to study and being able to prep um, through that master's program, especially being a master's program that brought me out of my comfort zone and having to study, I think that has helped me um, be, uh, I mean, a better officer in the National Guard and being able to manage um, varied programs and resources that I've been in charge of. Yeah. So, so, so kind of on the flip side, how has being in the Guard helped uh, with your degree? <laughs> well, um, I'd say the biggest help the Guard has been for my degree is the um, tuition assistance program. So obviously I paid for a little bit out of my pocket, but the tuition assistance program helped out a ton with uh, paying for uh, the master's program. Yeah. So... Yeah, that lifelong learning. It, yeah, it's, exactly. Uh, it's definitely uh, the tuition assistance. I know it helps a lot. Um, you know, so uh, I know their Artemis two is going up. What is it next year? Yep, next are we, year. Are we seeing you on a future Artemis mission at some time? So I would absolutely love to be uh, on an Artemis mission. I've actually applied for the astronaut program twice. Um, the first time I got uh, unselected because I did not have a master's degree and this last time I made it all the way to the first interview round and then I was not selected but what, I'm gonna keep trying so for curiosity and, and maybe listeners are kind of curious <laughs> they're like hey I would love to be an astronaut what goes into like the selection so um, so the most recent selection it's you get on USA jobs and you fill out your application you put in your resume upload your uh, degrees any professional certificates and it's just like applying for any other job on USA jobs but after the initial process if you 
are selected to continue, they send you a test. You actually have to do a written test, um, send that in, and then if you're selected through that test, then they send you back another questionnaire where you fill that out. And then at that point, they do kind of like a, like a, it's not like an online interview board, but they send you a series of questions. You answer those, and then they decide if they're going to invite you down to Houston for interviews or not. So Fascinating. So really, anybody could apply to be an astronaut. Anybody can apply. So last time, there was 12,000 people that applied, and they ended up selecting 13 astronauts. Wow. So That's, a, that's crazy. You narrow it down from 12,000 to 13. Yeah. And then, but at least to get an interview was, was probably a big deal. Well, I didn't get an interview. I got selected out right before those final oh, okay. interviews, so, yeah. which sucked, but I was pretty excited I made it that far. And I even got a letter in the mail saying, hey, congratulations for making it this far, but... Uh, we didn't select you, but that was pretty cool to get a letter in the mail from NASA. Like NASA, or yeah. Like, so frame that was pretty cool. No, I did not frame it. I probably should have, but <laughs> it's in a box somewhere yeah. in the garage. Yeah. Well, so. I mean, any anything else you want to add for folks? I mean, uh, really, I think probably one of the biggest questions, you know, is what? Uh, how do people find out about these degrees? And you know, anything you want to say about that? And um, I would say, I mean. As humans, we're like naturally born explorers, um, and like growing up, I'd go wander out in the woods forever, try to find new things, explore, hike around, and I think that's uh, me discovering the space studies program and kind of developing that love of space. Kind of comes from that of wanting to explore, wanting to know new things, wanting to, I mean, reach out and discover things. I think it's uh, it's a pretty cool program and. I mean, not a lot of people know about it, but it's uh, something that you can find just get on Google or talking to people or um, various ways. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, if you, uh, if you like this video, give us a like. If you're interested in learning more, uh, leave us a comment. We'll put some of the uh, information in the notes. And if uh, you like these kind of videos, subscribe and let us know if uh, we're doing a good job and you want more of them. Thanks for joining us.